Maloney family, Heinrich and Maloney. And this month we've been married for 10 years. And we're very excited to share our adoption story with you tonight. So when Heinrich and I got married, we said let's wait for three years and then we'll start with the family. But a year or two later, God placed it on our hearts that adoption would be part of our family plan as well. Um, it was particularly a scripture where God said to us that you need to take care of the orphans as well. It's not just financial contribution or just prayer, but for us it would be something very practical in adopting a child that would then otherwise have been an orphan. We thought we'd have our biological kids first and then look at adopting. But God has bigger and better plans than we can ever have and His ways are higher than our ways and better than our ways. So we are now looking back just so much thankful for what He's done. Um, we had Gisela first in 2011 and after that we tried to um, get pregnant again and it didn't happen according to our plans. But because God has put it on our hearts to adopt, we, after two years, um, thought, well, now is as good a time as any. We um, started the process to get ourselves registered as adoptive parents, which in itself is quite a lengthy process. So the wait for the call is just as challenging as waiting to hear that you're pregnant. But in the meantime, I did pray for our adoptive child. At that stage we thought it would be, or we asked in particularly for a girl. We really started praying um, specifically, but God, we know that you're a good, good father, um, but we trust that you will send the right child into our lives. We heard about a boy um, and that we got excited about it. and. Um, Friends of ours referred us to them. They just basically went through the adoption process at that time and then that didn't work out. And it was a couple of months later then we heard about a potential lady that was pregnant um, and it, it could be twins. Um, and we sort of uh, also guarded our hearts. So the social worker phoned us on a Friday afternoon. She said to us, listen, I've got some good news. Uh, there's a boy that I want you guys to think about. And she just said that the words literally were, I, I just felt in my heart the Lord was laying this child and that he's perfect for your family. And over the weekend we were praying and, and really asking the Lord's um, wisdom and, and it was just so clear for us that we've been praying for this child um, for such a long time and we, we really trusted that the Lord will bring the right child at the right time. And the first sort of hint that we got was when the, when the social worker, because she's never really been spiritual. Um, if I can put it like that. Um, and then she said to us, but she just felt on her heart that the Lord was sort of telling her that this was our child. Not in a way that we had to feel condemned if we didn't take the child, but in an honest way. And Melania and I just said that, listen, we know that the Lord, um, we just felt that we know that the Lord has given this child to us. And um, we said, we, you know, we're excited, we want to go and meet him. And early that week, uh, we had the amazing privilege to go and see his amazing little face and, and cute smile for the first time and our hearts obviously crumbled. Our minds are so powerful to our own detriment because I know for a fact that with, with the stats that was presented to us and with um, the information that we had at a certain point, we would never probably have selected um, that specific child out of our own minds. But God handpicked the child from eternity for us as a family. And I know for a fact um, that we would not have been able to make a better choice for our family. There's something supernatural that happens with it. When that baby comes home, there's no questions in your heart of, is this my child? Is this someone else's child? Because we know that that son was born in our hearts way before we even knew it. So Jaden, Jaden's name means God has heard us, Jehovah has heard us. And that's a name that the nurses gave him in hospital and I don't think that they knew what it meant. We kept that name in particular because it was 
uh, he was answered to our prayers. He was our little son, our firstborn son, and not long after Jaden joined our family, I fell pregnant and he was like a prophecy in a way to me. So it is actually so exciting to think that God had this big picture in mind all along and Jaden was part of that picture and if I had to fall pregnant when we thought I should be pregnant, we wouldn't have had Jaden as a part of our family. Hello. Hello. Okay. Nice.